The epigenome is the structure of how the DNA is organized. So DNA isn't just flailing around like a string. It's actually packaged up around proteins we call histones. It's like if you spool your hose in the garden, you mm -hmm. loop it around and then you can put those loops into bigger structures. Then you get a chromosome, which you can see, any high school student can see under a microscope. That chromatin structure, as we call it, is the epigenome. And so when hose is looped tightly and spooled up, that's stopping genes from being read. So genes are off when they're compacted, but also if the cell needs to read certain genes, a nerve cell needs to read the nerve cell genes and the liver cell needs mm -hmm. to read specifically the liver cell genes. And so they open those ones up and now the cell can get access and read those. That's an analog system because it, it's varying all the time. It changes when you wake up, what you eat. So it is exercise. literally the amount the DNA is unspooled and the place in which it is unspooled so that it can be read. Right, and that's what determines the cell's function and identity, which we, you know, when we're born, we're 26 billion cells. Each one of those cells knows what it is and what it has to be 80 years later, it and its descendants. And over time, what I'm saying is aging is caused because cells lose their packaging and then eventually cells lose their identity. Disease ensues, cells check out, they become zombie-like, and okay. then our organs fail and we die. But until recently, we had no idea why that was happening. And so why is it happening? Well, so the, the packaging's the really important part because much like the software runs the code, the epigenome controls which genes are on and off. And if you stress the system, and by that I mean biological stress, and the biggest stress you can cause to a cell is to break its chromosome because it's going to die if, that, if it doesn't fix it, or worse, for the body you get a tumor. So the cell has to hunker down, stop dividing, arrest just about everything it's doing, and then try to repair that broken DNA. But in doing so, it has to do two things. First of all, it has to take proteins from somewhere else that are doing a good job keeping the cell from functioning, or making sure the cell's functioning correctly. And those proteins are used by the cell to repair the DNA that's broken. But also what's happening at the break is that that's all opening up as well, because you remember if you, if you break a DNA and it's spooled up, mm. you can't fix it, you can't glue it back together unless you unpack it, stick it back together, and then you've got to repack it. So this movement of proteins and the unpacking, repacking of the DNA, I believe leads to cells losing that original youthful, what we call a gene expression pattern of how the genes are turned on and off. Mm. And nerve cells, as they get older, lose their ability to stay nerve cells and liver cells lose their identity as liver cells.